Hey everybody, Dr. Pancake Face here, and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about this sweet ass build I've been using here lately called the Grinder Build. Now, the Grinder Build revolves mainly around one perk deck, and that is the Grinder deck that you can get from the so called DLC pack. Now, what makes this deck so badass are all these little hearts here. Basically, what they do is uh, anytime you deal damage to an enemy, uh, it heals you for, as you can see here, uh, damaging enemy heals four life points per half second for six seconds So that's I mean that's nice when you just shoot a guy one time but When you combine it with a Molotov cocktail or a grenade launcher with an incendiary round That's where it starts to get cheesy um, If you can if you can get fire on the ground with you know three four five different guys sitting in it well, then you're getting, if you got five guys sitting in it, you're getting 20 health every half second for six seconds. And that's just off of one damage. And then the fire ticks again the next damage, and you get another shit ton of health. And you, you can start to see how this can, uh, this can build up and make it pretty cheesy. Um, now, I personally, I like to use the GL40 grenade launcher. Um, with the incendiary round, you could put the shorter barrel on it and the salt off if you want to make it look badass or something. I don't know. Uh, doesn't really matter. All you really need to worry about is the incendiary round. Um, I've tried with the piglet grenade launcher. Uh, it's got the six round magazine, twice as much ammo. You would think, oh man, more ammo. That should be better. Um, I, you know what? Not exactly. <laughs> I tend to go through ammo a lot quicker with the piglet. Then I do with the GL40. Since it's a single shot, it causes me to, you know, take my time and be a little bit more accurate with my shots. Uh, whereas with the Piglet, I just kind of dump off a ton of shots and then realize that I used the whole clip on, you know, two or three guys. So, <laughs> personally, I like to go with the GL40 grenade launcher. Um, now, for the secondary, uh, I like to use a pistol. You can, use, you can honestly use any pistol that you want. Um, but I went ahead and picked up the Gruber Kurz pistol. Um, with the mods and the skills, I'll show you the skills in a second. Uh, but with the mods and the skills, it puts your damage up to 41. Um, it's a little bit less than what you can get with some of the other pistols. Um, but it's still enough that anything for like the green swats on Death Wish and anything below them, you're still getting one shot headshots. And uh, anything above them, um, so like the brown swats that you get on overkill or the death wish swat, um, still going to be two headshots. So pop them in the head twice and uh, they go down. Or you can always just drop some fire on the ground and set them on fire. It's totally up to you. But as you can see, the deagle pistol does a shit ton more damage. The broomstick does more damage. Even the pistol that you start off with, the Shimano 88, still has a higher base damage uh, then the the Gruber pistol, but the Gruber pistol has a pretty nice amount of ammo to go with it So I kind of you know, I, I like to play with that one um, the mods that I use I use a flash hider um, You can either use the pocket laser or you can use the laser grip uh, Laser grip gives you more accuracy. So I, I tend to go with that one um, The the red dot uh, sight is what I like to use gives you a little bit more accuracy gives you something easier to aim with um, and then the long slide, it gives you more accuracy and more damage. So, not too bad a combination of mods on that. Um, for the rest of my equipment, the trench knife, I, I mean, you can use whatever you want to for your melee weapon. It doesn't really matter. I personally like the trench knife. Uh, so that's what I tend to stick with. Um, I use the Molotov as my throwable because I want to deal fire damage with this one. So, I want to use the Molotov. Toss that on the ground, get a bunch of people, and get a shit ton of health. <clears throat> now for my equipment, uh, I got a couple of different things that I can use. I can use the doctor bag, I can use the ammo bag, I can use the ECM jammer. Because um, I'm kind of all over the place with my skills. But the main one that I like to use is the trip mines. Because I've got them upgraded to use them as C4. And I don't really have to worry about the rest of the, you know, the doctor bags or the first aid kits. Because, uh... I, I, I get all the health back from the grinder deck anyways. So I don't have to worry about, you know, going and healing up on a doctor bag or a first aid kit. And as far as ammo is concerned, 
Um, the the grenades are pretty much uh, a one pickup from the little ammo packs the enemies drop. Um, now sometimes the, the ammo packs will prioritize secondary over primary. Um, not really sure why this happens, but sometimes I'll pick it up and it'll only supply uh, my pistol. But once the pistol's resupplied and all you need is just the, the grenade launcher ammo, um, one pack, one little ammo pack the enemies drop will give you one grenade. So you don't really have to worry about um, ammo uh, with an ammo bag. You, I mean, you, you resupply fairly easily. Um, so I usually, I'll just run around with the upgraded trip mines um, to blow open doors or like on, you know, Hoxton Breakout. I'll uh, blow out the walkways so that nobody can come across those walkways and get us from the side. Um, pretty fun to use C4. And also, you've got the trip mines. You can lay down a ton of trip mines and blow people up. Um, and with the upgraded skills that I've got, they're pretty powerful trip mines. They can take out a special in uh, one hit. Um, finally, we got the armor. Now, with this deck, you got to use the lightweight ballistic vest. Because as you can see, if you use the ballistic vest or anything else, it disables the grinder perk deck. And you don't want to do that. And this isn't really a dodge build, so we're not going to fuck with the two-piece suit. Basically, all we get to use is a lightweight ballistic vest. But, not bad. Uh, once I show you the skills, you'll, you'll see why it isn't really that bad. Because as you can see, my armor right now is 75 with a lightweight ballistic vest. I mean... That's that's almost as much as the uh, the well I guess that's upgraded so um, but yeah uh, I think that's actually more I think that's actually more than the heavy ballistic vest is base before you upgrade it um, that's a that's quite a bit of armor to have with a lightweight ballistic vest um, <clears throat> so uh, let's go on ahead and jump on into the skills here and uh, check out what kind of skills that I'm using. Now, in the Mastermind, there are a couple of things that are more important, a couple of things that are less important. I picked up Endurance for you know higher mobility. Um, I picked up Leadership to buff my pistol that I use. Um, obviously, I picked up Equilibrium to buff, buff the pistol that I used. Uh, I picked up Control Freak because you know, I always like to have Control Freak. Um, spotter, uh, you know, in, in the louder missions, the Spotter asset isn't quite as useful because you can just, you know point at people and spot them out um but the the extra damage to mark special enemies that is useful so i'll go ahead and put a point in the end of that um cable guy and combat medic i'm pretty sure all i did with those um i just picked those up so that i could skip this tier here and get up to gunslinger um dominator it's nice to have um I don't use it too often, but there have been cases where, you know, I've been doing a heist and I've had a guy that's in custody and we don't have any civilians to tie up. Um, so I got to tie up uh, one of the cops so that I can trade him. Um, that has actually happened a couple of times, so it is nice to have the Dominator perk. Um, but then moving on, we got the Gunslinger, obviously, so that I can get that uh, extra damage with pistols. And then Inspire. Now, I've seen builds that just go up and, you know, get the basic inspired just so that you can um, heal people a little bit quicker. Uh, but me personally, I like to go on ahead and ace out inspire so that I can scream at people and get them off the ground. Um, then in Enforcer, I picked up Transporter just to make me a little bit quicker with bags and to make me able to throw them a little bit further. Um, I don't really have the buffed up uh, ammo bag, so... I don't really use that too often. Uh, technician. Here's the other big skill tree. Now, as you can see, I've got nerve. I've got the nerves of steel aced, and I've got the drill skills aced. Um, that's always fun to have in a loud mission because you can just drill drill through stuff a little bit quicker. Um, I I get a couple of skills with the trip mines. I got demolition man, um, and I've got tactical mines, both aced out. Uh, the tactical mines are nice because if I wanted to, I could just set down the mine and mark people. But really, honestly, what I'm going to be doing is uh, doing the explosion. So I like the bigger radius with the explosion. Um, and then I like this one because it, it makes me deploy them quicker and it gives me an extra trip mine. Um, sharpshooter, uh, I go on ahead and pick up because it makes me a little bit more accurate with the pistols and with the grenade launcher because they're both single shot weapons. 
Um, so that's nice to have. I'm pretty sure the only reason I picked up Rifleman was just to get up into one of these tiers. I can't remember. Um, I don't think it was too, too important. Uh, but I go ahead and uh, put get the, the basic jack of all trades just so that I have a bigger radius with the explosion with my trip mines. Um, but here's the one that I like. Shape charge. I get three extra trip mines in my inventory. And I get to turn them into C4 charges and blow up doors and blow up safes and blow up walkways. It's fun to have the C4. <laughs> if you've never run with it before, it's uh, it's you might want to try it out because it's pretty fun to use. Um, and then I go on ahead and pick up Bulletproof so that I uh, the, the vest that I'm wearing can absorb 50% more damage. Um, since I'm only using the lightweight ballistic vest, very, very nice to have this. Um, so you're probably going to want to go on ahead and at least get the basic. I've seen other people with these builds that they've gone on ahead and aced this out so they have the higher recovery rate. But honestly, with since you're getting the health back from the grinder deck, the recovery rate isn't really that important. I mean, I run around with empty armor uh, quite often, but since I'm dropping the incendiary tubes on the ground and I keep dealing damage to people, it doesn't really matter to me. Because as soon as I get shot... I resupply health. It's not that. It's not really that big of a deal uh, for the armor recovery rate. So I don't ace that out. Um, now here in the ghost skill, um, I go on ahead and ace out sprinter to make me a little bit more mobile and to give me you know some dodge chance. Because when when do you not want dodge chance? <laughs> it's always always good to have that. Um, I only put one point into cat burglar. Um, it is nice to ace that out, but with the with the skill build that I was using, I, I the skills were spread kind of thin. So um, I found some other more important more important things to put the three skill points into rather than acing out Cat Burglar. But I went ahead and put one point into it just so I don't take as much damage uh, when I fall. Um, now fast hands, I go on ahead and ace that out so that I'm much quicker with the um, with the bags. Because sometimes if you're doing something like big bank on loud. Um, or if you're doing Hoxton Breakout, then uh, being able to interact with stuff a lot faster, very helpful. Um, it allows you to go on ahead and grab the bag and get out of a sticky situation as quickly as possible. Uh, I picked up one point in Shinobi because it really doesn't matter if somebody makes any noise, but the speed is nice. Um, but if I recall correctly, I think this was the last perk that I put a skill, or last skill that I put a point into. Um, so not nearly as important as some of the other things. Uh, now in the fugitive skill tree, I go on ahead and ace out a uh, thick skin just so that I can get a little bit more armor from the ballistic vest that I'm wearing. Um, I ace out duck and cover so that I have the 10% chance of dodging. And I go ahead and put one point into run and gun so that I have the additional movement speed. Um, so as you can see, this build is tailored around buffing up the lightweight vest, um, being able to help people out, buff up your pistols with Mastermind, and then be as mobile as possible. Uh, that's really what this build is about. Um, and then obviously using the flame weapons with the grinder deck. Um, makes for a pretty overpowered build, in my opinion. Um, if you guys want to you know, copy this build... Uh, feel free to, if you have any suggestions, like if, you know, if, you know, maybe I, maybe I want to pick one thing over another one and you can explain why, go on ahead and, uh, leave that suggestion in the comment section. Um, if you, uh, you know, if you want to make your own build or if you want to tweak this one, you know, feel free to, um, but that, uh, that's about the end of this video. Uh, if you like this build, go on ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.